This boy is at a fragile point right now. I do understand. And he is at a fragile point, okay? He's got problems. Well, what problems does he have, Sean? That he's better off as a janitor, that he's better off in jail, better off hanging out with a bunch of retarded gorillas? Oh, why do you think he does that, Jerry? Do you have any fucking clue why? Hmm? He can handle the problems. He can handle the work, and he obviously handled you. Jerry, listen to me. Listen to me. Why is he hiding? Why doesn't he trust anybody? Because the first thing that happened to him, he was abandoned by the people who were supposed to love him the oh, most. Oh, come on, don't give me that for you. Oh, no, listen, Jerry, and why does he hang out with those retarded gorillas, as you call them? Because any one of them, if he asked them to, would take a fucking bat to your head, okay? That's called loyalty. Yeah, it's very touchy. And who's he handling? He pushes people away before they have a chance to leave him. It's a defense mechanism, all right? And for 20 years, he's been alone because of that. And if you push him right now, it's going to be the same thing all over again, and I'm not going to let that happen to him. Sean. What, Jerry? Don't you do that. Don't infect him with the idea that it's okay to quit, that it's okay to be a failure, because it's not okay, Sean. Why are you still so fucking afraid of failure? <laughs> it's about my medal, is it? Oh, God, I can go home and get it for you. You can have it. Oh, please don't. You're that. You know what, Jerry? Shove the middle of your fucking ass, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the presence of greatness. So what is it? A lawnmower? What do you got? It's a straight fucking sick. Hey, don't worry about this engine itself, sir. It's a good car, though. The engine's good. I ask you about war, you probably uh, throw Shakespeare at me, right? Once more into the breach, dear friends. But you've never been near one. You've never held your best friend's head in your lap. And watch him gasp his last breath, looking to you for help. I ask you about love. You'd probably quote me a song. But you've never looked at a woman and been totally vulnerable. Known someone that could level you with her eyes. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. Could rescue you from the depths of hell. And you wouldn't know what it's like to be her angel. To have that love for her be there forever. Through anything. Through cancer. And you wouldn't know about sleeping, sitting up in a hospital room for two months, holding her hand. Because the doctors could see in your eyes that the terms visiting hours don't apply to you. You don't know about real loss. Because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. I doubt you've ever dared to love anybody that much. I look at you, I don't see an intelligent, confident man. a cocky, scared, shitless kid. But you're a genius, Will. No one denies that. No one could possibly understand the depths of you. But you presume to know everything about me because you saw a painting of mine. You ripped my fucking life apart. You're an orphan, right? I think I know the first thing about how hard your life has been, how you feel, who you are. Because I read all of the twist. Does that encapsulate you? Personally, I don't give a shit about all that because you know what? I can't learn anything from you. I can't read in some fucking book. Piss off. Yeah, you were smarter than me then, and you're smarter than me now, so don't blame me for how your life turned out. It's not my fault. I don't blame you. It's not about you. Never disrespect my wife again. I will end you. I will fucking end you. Got the chief. Shove the middle of your fucking ass, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the presence of greatness. So what is it? Lawnmower? What do you got? It's a straight fucking sick. Yeah, don't worry about this engine itself, Sam. It's a good car, though, the engine. You, Jerry, listen to me. Listen. Why is he hiding? Why doesn't he trust anybody? Oh, come on, don't give me that for you. Oh, no, listen, Jerry. And why does he hang out with those retarded gorillas, as you call them? Because any one of them, if he asked them to, would take a fucking bat to your head, okay? That's called loyalty, yeah.